Hi, this is Dave Fisher with EcoRI News, and we're here at the Ripton Maintenance Facility on Elmwood Avenue in Providence, checking out the new diesel hybrid buses. At first glance, the Rhode Island Public Transit Authority's 67 new diesel hybrid buses look just like any other late model bus on the road. In fact, the first thing you might notice is that breathing is going to get a little easier in Rhode Island. I spoke to Joe Monty, Assistant Superintendent of Ripta's Maintenance Division, about the fuel savings and reductions in particulate emissions associated with the new technology. How much more fuel efficient, how much less fuel do you expect these buses um, to use? We, we're, we're um, contemplating on probably a uh, 30% uh, reduction in, in fuel cost on per, per vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, all depends on the duty cycle, what I mean by duty cycle is where it's going to be. Um, if it's downtown, it will probably be a lot better, stop and go, because it's going to be using just electricity to move it. Okay. If it goes from Providence to Newport uh, on the highway, we're going to be straight on the engine. So okay, so really no saving. All diesel on the, all on the highway. As soon as you decel, it starts charging the batteries. AC current charges the batteries, converts it over to DC current. But most of them, if they're downtown, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, that's where we're going to get our savings. Even on the engine side, they have uh, what they would call a particular filter. It's called an active particular filter. It breaks down some particulates, some particulates of matter that you see, like exhaust. Yes. Yeah, so but you'll see no soot come out of the exhaust pipe because it's actually burning it again. In addition to replacing a third of the fleet with hybrid buses, Drifta is replacing the Providence trolley buses with hybrids as well. Look for these red trolleys and new buses on the road within the next month. The natural gas burning green trolleys have been retrofitted with clean diesel engines and will be put into service as jitneys in Newport. For EcoRI News, this is Dave Fisher, and I'll see you at the bus stop.